1947. We reached Rwanda, uh, Shimla Conference. In 1945, Lord Wevel, the Viceroy of India, announced a plan for the transfer of power of India to its native. So to discuss the detail of the plan, Lord Wevel invited representatives from the various political parties in a conference at Shimla in June 1945. Lord Wevel proposed that an executive council should be set up as an interim government under the present constitution, which was Government of India Act 1935 until a new constitution could be agreed on. The second point or uh, second proposal was that the executive council would contain equal number, five each of the Muslims and Hindus. And the third proposal was all portfolio will be given to Indians except defense and viceroy. So to discuss the formation of the executive council and the future handover, the viceroy called a conference of all the political parties in Shimla. So the Muslim League delegation included Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Liaqad Ali Khan and Khwaja Nazmuddin. While Gandhi Abu Kalam Azad and Khizar Hayat Taiwana represented the Congress. So, <coughs> so they deliberately included Muslim members in the delegation to demonstrate that not all Muslims were members of the Muslim League. There was a deadlock over the Muslim League demand that all the five members of the executive council should be the nominees of the Muslim League. So the Viceroy accepted for and uh, Chief Minister of Punjab and Unionist Party leader Khizar Hayat Taiwana demanded one Muslim seat out of the Muslim quota which was accepted by the Viceroy. So Jinnah also pointed out as the sick and the scheduled cost on the council were bound to vote with the Hindus. This would remain permanent Muslims minority in the executive council. And Jinnah also objected. So Lord Wevel could see no solution to the problem and close the conference on 14 July 1945. Another British attempt to find a solution had failed. Now let's see the election 1945-46. So the general elections to the provincial and the central legislatives were held in 1945-46. Both the parties took an active part in this election because the constitutional future of the India was demanded demanded on the result of these elections. Both Congress and Muslim League contested mus uh, elections on two exactly opposed uh, slogans. Congress wanted to keep the subcontinent united, whereas the Muslim League wanted to divide it. So the result of election was that the result of the election showed that the Muslim League won all the 30 Muslim seats in the Central Assembly and 446 out of 495 Muslim seats in the Provincial Assemblies. So the Congress won the same victory in the Hindu majority areas in Bengal and the Muslim League won 113 out of the 119 Muslim seats and formed the ministry in Sindh. So the, wise, the victory of Congress in NWFP was a serious blow to the League. Muslim League won 17 out of 36 Muslim seats and the Congress took 19 seats and the Dr. Khan Sahib from ministry with Congress. In Punjab, Muslim League won 79 out of 86 Muslim seats and Khizar Hayat Taiwana formed a ministry with the Congress. And Congress won total 930 seats, gaining an absolute majority in eight provinces. So result of the election was not only divided the assemblies between the Muslim League and the Congress, but also approved the Muslim League claimed that. It was 
sole representative party of Muslims of the subcontinent and demanded for the establishment for a separate Muslim homeland was true.